Well guys, this is the uh, first ice fishing video that I've ever attempted. I'm headed out of town right now, headed down south to go fish with a few buddies. Gonna bring uh, my buddy Larry. Hey, what's going on? What are you doing? <laughs> gonna bring her and uh, gonna spend some time on the ice. It's gonna be super, super warm. So it'll be good for Larry and it'll be good for my uh, fragile hands and fingers. So it should be a lot of fun. Um, stay tuned. Um, hopefully some big pike, that's what we're after. Um, they should be getting shallow um, pretty quickly for the spawn. So stay tuned. Should be a good next couple days. Little tip as to how I rig. Um, I always go upside down. If a fish is dying, it's gonna float to the surface typically. Sometimes it'll sit on bottom, but sometimes when gas gets in their belly, it rises. At least that's what the scientists say. So I'm putting the treble right through the bottom, get it centered like so, and just sitting like this. And I always, always turn the fins out, lift everything up that you can to make this look more lifelike, that it hasn't just been sitting in the freezer for the last few weeks. So that's our presentation, it can go like this. I'm running a 40 pound fluoro leader. Some people might argue that's not enough. I haven't had any issues with 50 and I had 40 and I thought, what the heck, I'll give it a go. So we're running 40 uh, and then this breed, this breed line's 100. Oh, oh that's sick. Let's go back to the camera. I thought I had a hit dropping. Oh, that's sick. Don't move, don't move. Come on. He's gonna bite it. Bite it. Bite it. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, he swung right around. I'll put it in the rod holder. Get it set up. Do it right. Sometimes they don't want movement. They just want a dead fish that's just sitting there. On this other reel, what I've found has been working well is I have one rod that I'm jigging with, uh, usually a rattle bait or something to pound bottom, and then I'll have my tip up nearby. And what happens more often than not is they come, check out the rattle bait, see the dead fish, smell the goodness, eat that. He's still off in the distance. He's not a very big fish. I tell them I tell that to myself, especially when I lose one. Even if I don't see them, ah, small fish. And right away, you get this sense of just feeling better about yourself, about your fishing abilities. And that's that's what happened. I let that fish go. We didn't want him anyway. Well, a little bit of chaos, as always. First fish in the morning. Um, I've got a, a rig set up to my bait caster, and I think this is a good pike. Larry, get out of the hole. This is what Larry does every time. Here fishing, and she just does this. Okay, you ready? Here he comes. Oh, oh, it's big. Oh, it's really big. Oh, yes, this is what I can. Oh, come on. Yes. This is a big fish. I never thought it was big. I just knew it was my first fish of the day and I figured I should start recording because it's been an absolute gong show. Got my PB walleye last night. And this cat is fun, but it's chaos sometimes. Here, come on, up the hole, up the hole, up the hole. Up the hole, big girl, come on. Oh yes, come on. Oh, it's a nice fish. This is the biggest pike of the trip so far. Come on. Here, why are you crying? Do you want food? Larry, get over here. Come on, hey, what's this? This is a big fish. No, I know, stop crying, you're okay. Come on. What are you doing? Do you need to poop? No, no, come back, come back. Come back, come back, come back. No, no, come back. back. Oh, up the hole, up the hole. Oh, that is a big, big pike, come on. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is what we came here for, Larry boys. Stuck in the corner. Oh. oh, yeah, baby. This is what we came here for. This is a toad. Gotta be 25, 30 pound fish, just a giant. Oh my goodness. Look at this. It's unreal, this is huge. Oh, I gotta fit him in the live well. Oh my gosh, this is the giant fish. This is the giant. 
too. Um, that's a big fish. I mean, I've caught a lot of big pike in my life. This is up there, especially through the ice. It's definitely a personal best through the ice. Biggest walleye, absolutely unreal. Larry is stoked. I'll give you guys another look and then we're, uh, we're gonna get her back. Um, these big fish, obviously you gotta have a live well to keep them around. Um, but that being said, obviously the sooner they go back swimming freely, the better. So that's what we're gonna be doing now. But <sighs> unreal, man, this fish is huge. Such a giant, so cool. Cool. The fact that I was a catch this on this rod and reel instead of a tip up is so, so cool. Absolute giant. Let's get this big girl back in the water. Woo! You know what's good when your hand, your fingers can't wrap around the tail of the fish. Absolute giant. Unreal. That was insane. Um, yeah, I had no idea that fish was that big until I saw it and then I thought it was good so I turned on the camera and then it came close and I knew it was really good. Final, the me final measurements were 45 and a half by 23 around. I mean, that's a giant fish. I mean, it, it could have been close to 30 pounds. Um, I have caught 45 inch fish in the past that have gone 30. They were really, really fat, very close to that one. Um, but that's a big fish, especially in the winter time. Unreal. And I caught that just on a, uh, on a herring rig set up like this and I've been running 40 pound floral haven't had an issue and then a swivel and then from that swivel I go to my line and reel I'm doing pretty beefy right now I'm using an Akuma bait caster um, with this rod and this rod is rated for like seven ounces it's actually called the bondy stick uh, I got a custom made for bondies um, but a great setup to be to be fishing on um, and the line is a hundred pounds. So like if there was a rod to catch a big fish on, I think an eight ounce rod lure weighting with a hundred pound and a bait caster is the ultimate setup. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, PB walleye, just unreal, unreal last couple days. And it started off so, so slow. I mean, that first day I was out here, I think we had, I personally, I think I had one pike all day, two pike and all hammer handles so stick it out man i always say fish have got to eat sooner than later if it's not today it might be tomorrow it might be next week but eventually fish eat fish swim are you pooping you just pooped see this is the issues i gotta have oh you just these are the problems i have that you can't take a cat fishing they said It'll be fun, they said. It'll be fun. Take your cat fishing. I just dropped it down, guys, and I got a fish on me right away. Right away. Come on. Hey, come on, come on. He's going to take it. He's going to take it. He's going to take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. He's sniffing it. Oh, I got this on the aqua view. I'll be able to show it. Hopefully, side by side. Key. Pike. 1737. Come on back. Come on back. It's a big one. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Bite it, bite it. Come on, you're sniffing it. Take it. Yes, he. Oh no. He, oh, he took it. 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 He sucked it down. Sucked it down. Sucked it down. Sucked it down. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Take it. Yeah, baby. Take it. Woo! On film. That's the. This is the hardest part, man. Oh, he took it. Yes. It's a good fish too. Yes. Oh, that was sick. Literally, as I dropped it down, a fish. Yeah, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Fine. So I have like one, I have one treble hook on that one. So I'm not gonna wait super long. Like I said earlier, singles, wait a little bit. Um, double trebles, you wanna do it right away, those quick strikes. Single treble, sometimes take it right away, but sometimes wait on it. You I mean, how do you feel that day? How's the fish feel? What's the moon doing, right? A lot of things come into play here. Yes, hi. Yes. And the cat just pooped in the back. I gotta clean it up. It smells a little bit like cat poop. The downside to fishing with a cat, but also, look at that face. Look at this little face. Look, what's this? What's that? 
Oh, baby. Okay. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna hit him. Yes, hi, Larry. I hear you. You're vocalized. This is gonna. Kinda... Good bend to the rod. I think it's a nice fish. Come on. Nice fish. Unreal fish. High 30s maybe. Pretty good. Pretty good back to back. Can't complain about this at all. Let's get her back. <laughs> Man, some mornings just works out like that fish, maybe 38, 39 inches, but I've been catching nothing but hammer handles. So we're talking, oh, to see something like that is a very, very good sign. Very cool. Yeah, what's up? Flag just went, beauty day. Um, let's go see what's on the flag. What I like doing guys is spreading the line around. If you bunch it all up in one spot, it'll be very, very tough to uh, get it all done. So I like walking it around, even coming back, letting the wind take it a bit. Just spread out that tip up line. That goes a long, long way. Very good one. Oh, he's got a cool, cool nook in his nose. That's what you want. That's what you freaking want. Nice fatty. That's a beauty. That's a real good fish. Nice fat fish. That's sweet. Look at that curve. That's why you guys don't use bogo grips. Rip off their face. That's an awesome fish. Sweet. Sweet deal. Let's get her back. Wicked, wicked morning. Smack that 45 and a half. That one, I should have brought my tape measure. I bet you that was close to 42, 43. But man, fat, fat, fat fish. Oh, hands are cold. Gonna go warm them up a bit and then, uh, yeah, come back, rebate this line. Sweet. Well, I was in the process of packing up and a flag decided to go. So, we'll get the flag. Larry, wanna come? Okay. Let's go, Larry. Let's go. Where are you going? Are you going back to the truck? Goodbye. Lacey. Crush the tip up, potentially the last fish of the day. I haven't decided yet. It's a big fish. Let's let her go. Awesome. Wow, what a day. That's probably the third fish over 20 pounds now. Unreal. Great day to be out. Warm, not too cold. Gotta love it. Well guys, if you made it this far, I appreciate it. Larry and I both do. Um, we had a lot of fun. She enjoys it being here. Um, but yeah, I mean that was my first attempt at ice fishing, filming. Um, it's a different ball game than in the boat, there's no doubt. Much respect to those people that can do it and do a good job.